If you guys want cheap and reliable coins, check out FIFAcoin.com. They're also doing FIFA mobile coins now, so check them out. I have a link in the description down below. Use Fangs for a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Fangs, and welcome to a special video I'm going to be bringing you on my main channel here today. So we are here, and we have a bunch of different snacks and awesome things. I should have done this before. I know you guys love these videos. I haven't tried all of your snacks and all of your drinks, and one of them is missing from here. I am so sorry. I think it's in the back of my car that I'm pretty sure Doobie took. I'm gonna find out real quick. So the Lilt. A lot of people told me to get Lilt in my, I put this on Twitter, I said, what should I try? They told me to get Lilt. And unfortunately, I think it's rolling around in the back of my car that I don't have right now. Somehow it didn't make it to the drinks, but we will still try it. If it doesn't happen in this video, if it doesn't get here by the end of it, we will still try it. Just watch my next FIFA video. I'm gonna have like a chug of a Lilt at the beginning of it and you'll get to see it there. So don't forget to check that out. Put hashtag Lilt if you really want me to try it in the comments down below. But for now, we have at least one, two, three, four, five drinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of treats that we're gonna try. And these are ones that I have not tried while being in England that I think, that I can remember. I know I've done one of these before, but I don't remember seeing these and there's some that I couldn't get or they weren't where I was supposed to be. And I just happen to have a British Emporium store here. I don't know why. Grapevine, Texas has a British Emporium store, but it's freaking awesome. And they've got all other kinds of food and like, what do they have, the biscuits, they have the scones, is that what they call it? They had the, what are they called? The cookie, I forgot. They had a name for the cookie and I can't even remember. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you call, what we call a cookie, what you call it. it was, maybe it was a biscuit. I don't know. Anyways, so we're gonna get started with that here today. Um, I'm gonna start, I guess, beginning with, I feel like I've tried bar, but I don't know. I've tried Tango, but a different version of Tango. So we have Tango bar, we have all different kinds. We'll go through them and see what happens here. I don't know where my Lilt is. He said it's not in the back of the car, so I don't know. But we're gonna start here first with the Cadbury Wispa. This is your Wispa, which I don't think I've tried out of the different things that you have. Usually I love your chocolate, so with these, um, my little boy Rook is about to get an idea of some English stuff, so let me see here. Oh, if you're loving this, by the way, you wanna see me try different English things, don't forget, get this video right here. I haven't asked for a huge number in a while, and I'm doing something for my biggest fan base's country, so 1,500 likes. I'd really appreciate that. Let's try this, though. Mm-hmm. 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 That tastes like straight chocolate. The tiniest bubbles, the biggest taste. So, I think it's chocolate. It just has, like, a little, a little bit of bubble on the inside. You guys have seen it probably before. It's not bad. Aerated Cadbury chocolate bar. I can kind of see that tasting like a Cadbury egg almost. That's actually pretty good. I don't know why you guys do it so much better, but England has the best chocolate that I've ever tried. Now I need to wash that down. So I'm gonna start with, actually, let's do how many, we only have five drinks. Let's do at least two bars before we wash it down. That's Lion Bar. The Lion Bar, never heard of it. It says, New recipe, extra crispy. Okay, so this one's gonna be crispy. Once I got in there, they made me, it's pretty much like paying for pounds by this, by the way, too. I've never paid $2 for a candy bar, but I guess it's like so many pounds, and you know, the pounds obviously a little bit more expensive than the dollar. So let's give it a try. I don't know what's in it, but I'm not allergic to anything, so I don't have to worry about that. Here we go. It looks kind of like a little turd. Here we go. Mmm, oh god. Oh god! Ow! My teeth! That hurt! I dropped a piece on the ground too. Hmm. Uh uh. Nope. Nope. Mm mm. It says it has a new recipe, and that recipe is nasty. Oh god. It's made in York. I think a lot of y'all's candy is. No artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. That's probably what makes it better, is that's not there. I don't. Mm -mm. Not a fan of that. Wispo is alright. That gets like a four. That was gross. Alright, so we'll go with the bar raspberry. 39p, by the way. This was not 39p for me. I don't know how much they charged it, but it was not 39p. Right here, 39p. So if you just need, you know, a quick little soda, a little raspberry. Ooh, smells delicious. Okay, here we go. Oh! That is delicious! Does it even have sugar in it? Carbohydrates with sugar, zero. This is like a sparkling water, almost. AC Barsons, 1875. Full on flavor, no sugar. I need this in my life right now. Like, I'm trying not to put too much sugar in my belly for my baby. I need this in my life right now, this is crazy. 
Raspberry Aid. Raspberry Aid. I like that. Hold on. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to save that for later. That is really good. That is actually really good. Woo! I'm gonna have a sugar rush after this. These are called the Dairy Milk Caramel Nipples. I feel like I've tried these before, but I'm gonna try them again because I don't remember. And they look delicious. They just look fantabulous. So we've got these little bitty nipples right here that just look so great. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a little bite on one of these nipples. Mmm. <gasps> mmm. Seven dollars. Did I just try the best thing I've ever had? Did I just try, they have fiber in them too. If you have 100 G's of them, you can get some fiber out of the chocolate and caramel. Oh my England. Four or five portions per bag. Whoa, dang. Mm. Yep, this is great. This is, this may be one of the best things you've ever had or that you guys have. Mm. Genius. You can put your bag up like this and then just tape this, tape this over it. I think, hold on. Yeah, so you roll your bag up and then you just tape this right here. United States of America, why? Why have we not got anything like that? Why am I always wasting my candy? Because I actually leave the bag open. Genius, these are amazing. If that's your favorite, let me know. Those are amazing, okay. Next up on our list, we have something that does have 6.9 Gs of sugar and 330 milliliters. That's not, that's not that much either. Apple Tango. I've tried to think orange Tango. So now I'm trying apple. Boom, cracking coldies. Let's see this. Oh, oh, that's a little bit sour. That's a little bit on the sour side. Baby Tangs, crisp Tang. I love apple juice. This doesn't really compare. Six of your tangs, wait, six of your five tangs a day. Whatever that means. It's a soft drink with sugar and sweeteners. Brooke, I hope you enjoy this. Cause it's about to get crazy in there. He's about to kick around, that's good. That's actually, I couldn't have too much of that cause I feel like it's a little too sweet and make my stomach hurt, but that is good. Okay, these might not be what he tries, but I've seen Nepenthes and Streams have some kind of laces like this. I think they're, he calls them red laces. And we have something comparable here, but I always wanted to try, this is a strawberry version, which strawberry is one of my favorite fruits and one of my favorite flavors of anything. If you ever want to know the answer to that. So we're gonna give that a try and see what we think. Oh, let's see here. We'll pull them out. I've seen them like, oh my God, oh, those smell like heaven. Those actually smell like heaven. We pull them out here. What the, why are they, how are you supposed to get them apart? Hold on, get apart, get apart. See, the thing is they told me, by the way, um, in my doctor's appointments to, if you want your kid to really wanna like try different things in life, you should introduce it to them while they're in the womb. So that's why we're <laughs> introducing straight sugar and all different kinds of English candies. Cause I want them to like English candies. Cause we're gonna go to England a lot, right? So I've seen you know, a lot of this like, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. And then you just, you just go right in the mouth. Mm-hmm, yeah. Dirta, yes. These are good. These are, I'm getting a little bit of a sugar boost. These are really good. No, oh, mm. oh. They're so lovely. I'm probably gonna eat all these, not today, but in, a, in some time in my life. These are actually made in Holland by a true connoisseur of licorice, but apparently are popular in the UK. So, kind of a, a Belgian treat right here. If you're from uh, Holland, put hashtag Holland in the comments down below. This is where these were made. Oh, those are good. Those are actually real good. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. Next one we have. I'm so mad I don't have my lilt. We have Ben Shaw's Cream Soda Classic. I hope this is, I mean, it says, is it from the UK here? Yeah, produced in the UK. Citrus Grove Kegworth, wherever the heck that is. All right, here we go. I love cream soda, so hopefully this is good. Let's hear this. Come on, man. Come on. I love a and W cream soda. Does this have real sugar? Come on, man. Why don't we have this in the, we do obviously, cause I got it. This is fabulous. This is actually, this is fabulous. I love it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it and put it in my fridge for later. When a time when I can have it, 
These other two, by the way, people told me to get them. They're like, what is it? Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. Um, and then one other one is, what is this? I don't even know. Curiosity Cola. That might not have been the right one I was trying to go for. I think I was going for the, I was supposed to be going for the Dandelion and Burdock, and I don't think I got it. Okay, I've kind of messed that up, but they're supposed to not have actual alcohol in them, I think. They're ginger beers. I don't know if I like ginger beer, but well, this is the Star Mix. I've heard a lot of people say they love the Star Mix, and I've not tried it. I get this one kind of Harry Bow mix when I'm there, and it's got like these little pieces that look like eggs almost. It's like a, like a white piece and a yellow. You can tell me whatever that mix is, but usually I enjoy this. This is the Star Mix, and I've seen people say this, but I've never actually tried it. The first thing we got here is a cherry. A two cherries, not just one cherry, two cherries. Take a bite though. Oh, that's gonna be hard to chew. Mmm. Mmm. Very hard to chew, but very yummy. What is this? What the heck is that? It's like, whoo! Hmm. It's kind of like just having a bunch of big gummy bears. Like, I like the other ones because they have like a different distinction. So it's like two snakes, a ring, a gummy bear, a Coke bottle, and a cherry. Let's try that. All your favorite flavors? I don't know if that's my favorite. I, the one I'm eating right now is not very good. Mmm. This is not one of my favorite, actually. Not at all. And this is not actually made in England either, I don't think. Turkey. If you're from Turkey, I almost choked on that. That would have been awful for me to die in camera. It literally was getting stuck. That they're too big. When gummies are too big like that, I can't even. I can't even. These are gonna have to be popped. So this is, it's carbonated water, fermented ginger root. What the freak is fermented ginger root? Oh God, let me pop, I gotta get a pop topper. Holy crap, all right, let's do this. Pop it off. Oh, it's a twist off. <laughs> it said twist off on there. Hello. The other one is too. Oh, that smells like shiza. Shiza, it's shiza. Oh, it's called Fintamon's Botanically Brewed since 1905. Let's see if they say where it's made. A pin, wait, what? A pinned before pouring. Okay. Um, it says it's made in Newcastle upon Tyne. It's actually not that, it's weird. That tastes like a, what is it? Hold on, let me try again. It tastes like a, a Coke with like someone took a big red piece of gum and shoved it in there. That's what that tastes like. That's not terrible. I don't know if I'd want to drink a ton of it, but it's kind of just like having a soda. What's the expiration date? Hopefully it's not something crazy. The bottles, I love whenever, I think that drinks just taste better out of glass bottles. No matter what I've tried, glass bottle drinks have always been the best. So we have that. We tried the Fint, wait, is that the Fintimans? Was that the Fintimans? That was it, so was that the one? No, I don't think I got the dandelion and burdock. I'm gonna be upset about that. I don't have my dandelion and a burdock, and I don't have my lilt. Next up, wine gums. I've heard that uh, our friend Tub Jizzle loves these, and I didn't have them in that one video, so now I have them. Ha ha ha! What now? Now I'm gonna try, that one's too big. So we've got different kinds. We've got one that looks like a, God knows what. Let's try this one. I like red, I like red of everything. Woo, you get a little gassy. They're usually one pound. They're not one pound for me. They're one pound and they were six dollars for me. I got ripped off because they got imported. Mmm. Do they have to put wine in these? I'm probably gonna be so stupid sounding like that. Mmm. No. Why do they call them that then? May contain wheat. I wanna try a green one. I've seen the green ones on here. I wanna see what they taste like. Give me green. Give me green. We want to try green. That's yellow. Come on, man. I don't want to break this too far open. Green? Yes, okay. These are another one that are really hard to chew. I don't think they're pretty good. To be honest. You know what? I don't know if he likes wine gums or if he likes randoms. I think he likes randoms. Birmingham, the Peaky Blinders made these. They're actually pretty good. I think I prefer the chocolate and I prefer the laces. These laces were really good. But the chocolate, probably the, oh, this one I haven't even tried. I'm gonna have to give that a try before I do my next drink. This is the Galaxy Caramel Collection. Galaxy. 
It's full of caramel. Let's give this a try. It looks like it has like Twitch bars. Two different bars, it seems like. Oh, whoa, they're two skinny bars. Let's see, oh, they're pieces. They're pieces in there, that's cool. Oh, caramel. He's kicking like crazy right now. He's like, what is all this greatness? Hold on. This is made in Ireland. That's better than anything I've ever tried before. I have to do another one. Oh my God. This may be my new favorite chocolate in the whole world. Like, that is insane. Oh my God. I just love caramel. Mmm. Butterscotch beer, but it says non-alcoholic. Yeah, flying cauldron butterscotch beer, non-alcoholic coming from. Wait a minute, we've got a thing here. Since 1374, flying cauldron has been made the most magical brew for underage wizards and wizards who are young at heart in their brew pub. What the in in Hog's Breath, England? If anyone here is from Hog's Breath, England, let me know. We're trying this. really good. What on earth just hit my mouth? 100% natural, gluten-free, what? That is so good. That is so good. I've like lucked out on the drinks and everything today I feel like. This is like, this is like my jam. I'm a wizard. I'm a freaking wizard. Holy crap. That is awesome guys that is all the stuff that i have to try the lilt if you want to see the lilt don't forget to put hashtag lilt i got one i want to try it i'll do it in the next fifa video i'll have it in the beginning of it that is gonna be it for this video for today though hope you guys did enjoy it if you did if you want to see me try other countries things let me know what country in the comments down below i really want to try japanese stuff for some reason i don't know why maybe just put hashtag japan if you want to see that as well 1500 likes by the way i would be so happy if you got that for me thanks for watching and until next time see you guys later